one. Good morning. I'm Matt Call, Planning Operations on the Moose Fire. Today is September 16th, and we're going to walk you around the map for our briefing today. We have the fire map up here. We're going to zoom in. That's the, the generalized large map. Black edge, again, is the containment, and the red is the uncontained line. We added a little bit of contained line right down here, and when we zoom in, you'll be able to see that a little bit more accurately. We're going to start over here on the owl fire. Last night, we assumed command of that. That's about 700 acres. Sorry about that. So right now, we're doing what we call point protection here. We received about 0.12 inches of rain there last night, just a nice slow drizzle all night, which is going to give us a, a good advantage and really help this fire kind of subside and keep it from growing too much. So we're going to hike some crews up here if the weather permits and see what we can do to kind of check these edges up uh, on, on the, the perimeter where it has been growing. And then our point protection is down here. We're still providing some river, uh, some river road protection here. As the rains come in, we have a tendency to get some debris on the road down there. We're going to scoot around the outside to our other active edges. We expect this edge right here in this island to, to be contained. We have to look at a little bit more right there, but this is all pretty cold edge uh, along the inside of this excuse me, just along the inside of this. We still have some pretty active fire right here. So what we're doing with these areas here, uh, along this edge here, north of the power line, in the watershed, and along Mike, is we have two drones, and we're basically gonna actively fly when weather permits all of these areas. Look for a uh, heat on the IR, and then send crews in where it's safe, and do what we call checking up or hot spotting. Because there's so much distance and so much line, it's a little bit easier if we can isolate because the fire is not growing rapidly. We'll go to these little spots here and we'll put in a little bit of line where it's growing actively so that the fire doesn't grow. Just to give you guys a, an idea of scale, that, that's one mile. So as we zoom in, it gets a lot bigger. It looks really small on the map, but the amount of work it takes just to get around this for a crew is, is quite considerable. So we're just hitting those target areas just to help prevent uh, further growth. So we're doing that here in Mike by Stormy Peak over here in the watershed. This drainage here is a little bit safer, a few less snags and trees that can come down on the crew, uh, but probably gonna stay out of the Jesse Creek area. It's pretty heavily timbered and, and a lot of snags. So we'll hike down here and look at those spots and see if we can contain them. Down on the Williams Creek Road right here, We've got a chipper operation going still, so if you're driving in that area, drive slowly and be careful. What we're doing is removing fuels along that road in case we need to use that as a fire containment line and then taking those fuels and chipping them and putting them on the, on the opposite side of the road. We still have a bunch of road uh, maintenance operations in this whole network to make the roads much more drivable for us as well as the local traffic and, and the traffic going to the mines. So that's a continuing operation. We're maintaining this ridge road, the 022 road, I, I believe, or the 020. And what we're doing there is making sure that's open and then there's log decks along there that will, some will remain in place. So we're putting in hose lays and sprinkler kits to protect those. And then some of the other ones we're moving. We backhauled quite a few to, to uh, this point up here, as well as over to, to drop point 49. Uh, basically to put those in better places so they're easier to haul out and for the, the people that have purchased those, uh, those logs so that they can be removed and they're, they're in a safe place. A few more logs along here we're moving uh, so we can protect this power line easement here if, it, if we need to. This active line, sorry that moves real fast. This active line here, same thing, we're going to launch a drone from here and look at these hot spots where it's closest to the this possible containment line. And then we've got pumps and hoses in place around here in Leesburg so that if, if the fire moves here, these are all protected. This whole fire edge here is good, cold black. This is just uncontained and pretty heavy fuels and steep terrain. So we, we don't really have uh, a good way to go in there yet. There's a, an old network of logging roads. We're looking at maybe accessing with the hand crews to start checking this up since our, our fire behavior is has been dampened quite a bit with the weather. 
This piece over here is where we turned all black yesterday, and that's where we got our containment up to 50% today uh, from 47 yesterday. We have a lot of pumps and hose over here. We're taking that stuff out, don't need it. This is all contained, and uh, we're feeling really good about that. We're gonna continue some uh, prep work in some areas and then some rehab in a few other areas throughout the fire area. That'll conclude your briefing for today. Thanks for joining us.